What's up, YouTube? Gallagher123123 back with a very exciting video. I probably say that almost every time I make a video, but I think you'll agree with me. This one is, or should be, a very exciting one. So we've done this year a number of unboxings. This is a big thing this year for 2019, I guess, is that we are unboxing more products here. And one product that I've reviewed a number of times on this channel, showing some of the features of, was the Braille Note Touch. Now, in my channel update in April, I had said that I might not be continuing that series and had mentioned that Humanware had come out with the Braille Note Touch Plus. Well, after giving it a lot of thought and after seeing it at the NFB convention, in Las Vegas this year, I made a big decision. And that big decision is what we're here to unbox. You see this box? I'm sorry, I'm just gonna warn, give a fair warning. I do not have much room on this table at all. But we'll make the best of it. Oops. I'm showing the box. This is a boosted up Braille Note Touch Plus that I just received about 20 minutes ago. Oh my god, it's heavy. <clears throat> heavy when you're trying to film. Very nice box. Now, I've started to open the lid a little bit, which you might be able to tell here, just so we can get into this. Now, I'm going to try my very best to let you see as much of this as I can, but as I mentioned, look at how small this nightstand is. And that's my only available room, except for this table, which is covered in stuff. So, we are just going to have to do what we can with the surfaces that I have. Now, let's get into the unboxing of the Braille Note Touch Plus. Lifting it up. Ooh, now, this, I'm just going to remind you, this is a boosted up Braille Note Touch Plus. So, contents may be a bit different than a brand new one, but I'm not sure. And this will be an 18 cell touch plus. Okay, so it looks like at the top here, oh wow, we do get some new documentation here. Let's see. I don't know if I can figure out what we got. Me. This is Braille. It probably is. Indeed, I feel some Braille in here. But I'm going to put this off to the side. I don't like to do this, but I'm going to use the floor to put things off to the side. I don't like to do that because it makes a mess, but again, limited room. Ooh, now would you look at that. The next item that I really feel is the Braille Note Touch Plus. And below that, we have the strap. Okay, let's reattach that, but well, I'll do that off camera. What do we got in this little box? Um, well, I'll put this off to the side over here on the table for now. Um, got the strap, as I mentioned. I'll put that off to the side. Oh. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. <laughs> oh man, I have fun with these. I, I do not consider myself the best unboxer, but let's see what we got in here. Oh, we got a charger adapter of some kind. Oh, okay, I see what we got here. So these are like different outlet prongs, potentially. Let's see, go ahead and remove the... Actually, my guess now is that the USB-C cable might be in there. Yes, we do have some different style of plugs in the bottom of the box here. To look, sort through them and after the video and figure out what's what. Oh, 
actually, maybe I was wrong, because this looks like a USB-C, or some kind of USB cable. Put that again, put that off to the side. And one of these. Okay. I think we have everything, except for the unit. Sure, yeah, it looks like there's just packing material under here. So this has been extremely well packed by human wear. And it looks like we do have everything that we get from a new unit. Hold on one second. Okay. I have removed the Braille Note Touch Plus from the box. Now I'm going to put it on my lap for a minute. And we're going to close this bad boy up. Lock we're going to close this bad boy up. Oh, that looks so good. That box, I love it. Alright, I'm going to put the box right there. Now, let's look at the Touch Plus. I am getting very excited, as you might be able to tell. <laughs> do a little description. I'll do a, another description, like, full description, but this is just me taking a look. Let's open it up, and, hmm. yep, yeah, this feels new, all right. So, th what they do, I'll just quickly go into it, is they transplant your unit. So, you essentially get, they take your brow display and other hardware that you already had, put, and put it in the new one or put the new equipment in what you have. So this has been totally upgraded. I'll talk about the specs real quick. You've got a Snapdragon 820 processor, I believe is what we moved to. Some more RAM, maybe four gigabytes, I wanna say. 64 gigabyte of storage, and you no longer have the removable SD card, which was a feature on the, ooh, look at that shiny display. Wow, check it out. Um, you no know, longer have the um, SD storage. So let's take a look. Hmm, feels kind of interesting. You have the new, they've moved to USB C, so that's one change they've made. The new, you know, they have the power button and the volume, as we had before. You, know, you have your brow keyboard, or if you lift the Hinge up, you have your touch screen. Um, the right side, I believe we have the headphone, or the microphone, headphone, action button. And on the back, SD, USB port, a SD card reader, and HDMI, which now sends audio as well as video. Okay, so really quick, I was to say why I decided to upgrade. Basically, I saw this, as I said, at NFB in Las Vegas, and the upgrades, when I really thought about them, did sound worthwhile. And so what this is, until September 16th, you can upgrade for $1,295, and you get all these upgrades. But, you know, I've talked to some people who had done the upgrade, and they were saying about how much better it was since the upgrade. And that got me to really considering it. You know, some may know I am a full-time college student, and I still like having a Braille device. I mean, it's convenient, the interfaces are quick, and I can be writing notes or whatever very quickly. It just has other good features. So that's why I did ultimately, in the end, decide that yes, I will get a Braille Note, my Braille Note Touch upgraded to a Touch Plus. Well, have we had enough talking? I think the answer is a big yes. Let's boot this up. I will lift this long enough so we can see the boot. Oh, I don't know how much we'll see of the boot because it's, it's a bit of glare. Shades are closed, but. 
there's still some glare here. So we'll just boot it up. I'll press and hold power. Let's see if we have any power. Oh, actually, I'm kind of surprised. Try this one more time. Maybe I wasn't holding it long enough. Now, that's a very, very rare occasion that I don't have power. Unless I just thought of something. I'll be back in just a second. I want to see what was in that white box. Okay, so I'm back with the white mysterious package. And indeed, actually, this is different from the original. It looks like the battery is now supplied separately. I'm going to figure this out. And once I change the battery and put everything back together, I will come back and we will see if we can set this baby up. Okay, I've decided I will show the battery. Now this is going to be something I'm going to have to figure out how it goes in. But I will figure that out and I'll be back. Okay, I keep saying I'll come back when I have the battery out, but or battery installed, but I do see now that I look at it that there is indeed no battery installed. So I will come back. Well, I'll, show, I'll come back when I can and we'll see what we have. Interesting note. <laughs> As we explore things here, I just look to see the serial number on the back. And it does, in fact, look like we have the same serial number. It's kind of neat. I have the serial number memorized, so yes, this is the same braille note. Now, battery. We'll take a look. The battery is in. I'm turning the unit back this way. Put it back in the case, and now let's try the boot up again. It vibrates in a lower pitch. Okay, it's booting. Um, it says starting Keysoft on my display, and you can see that no, you can't. It does say Braille Note Touch Plus. And, oh my God! Keysoft on. Just a second. Holy crap! That is loud. English, United States. Okay, it is on, and oh my gosh, is that ever loud. I'm going to put the cover down, and I'm going to use the Braille keyboard. Not that I have anything against touch Braille, but I am going to use the uh, physical for this. I'm going to turn this volume down, too. Hopefully that works. This is Ringtone volume set to 70%. No, it did not work. Oh my god, that, that is way too loud. Hold on, let's get... Ringtone volume set to 85%. Ouch, that hurts my ears. Sorry, guys. Ringtone volume set to 55%. Wait, maybe that is adjusting it. English, Australia, English, United States. Okay, so it's asking me to select language. English, United States is what's selected. I'll press enter. Welcome to the Braille No Touch Plus. Okay. Press the rightmost thumb key. Okay, so now we are, it looks like we are in some kind of tutorial. This is sounding very much like the welcome for the original, which I went through when I got that. Actually, now the sound seems to be a bit better. I will see... There are a number of ways to read and navigate using Braille No Touch Plus, including using the physical keyboard, the touch screen with gestures, or the innovative touch Braille virtual keyboard. For this first example, you can use the well-known thumb keys located across the front edge of the Braille No Touch Plus. The four thumb keys from left to right are previous, left, right, and next. Previous and next will navigate forward and backward by item or control, and left and right will pan or scroll the refreshable braille display when reading. Okay. So I just showed the thumb keys, they're at the bottom. That's one thing I've always liked about the braille note are the thumb keys. Okay, let's go to the right. An item or control can be activated simply by pressing one of the touch cursor routing keys located directly above each cell of the refreshable braille display. 
Okay. Using the thumb keys, locate the next button on the screen and activate it using a touch cursor routing key to proceed, or the exit button to exit this tutorial and begin using Braille No Touch Plus. Very fun time if I will finish the tutorial, so let's... Do not launch this tutorial next time I restart my Braille Note. Checkbox, not checked. Okay, I want to check this by using the cursor routing key. Checked. Next button. And next is now highlighted, so I'll press the cursor routing key to activate. Exploring Braille No Touch Plus. And let's see what else we have to do. Again, I will say I have an 18 cell display here. This also is available with a 32, but I do have the 18 here. Let's get to know your Braille No Touch Plus. With moving to the left Oops. edge of your Braille Note, let's get to know your Braille No Touch Plus. With the Braille Note in front of you, either on your lap or on a table, along the front edge of Braille No Touch Plus, you already located the four thumb keys. As a reminder, they are named previous, left, right, and next. In the middle of the thumb keys are three buttons. The left button, shaped like a triangle, is your back or exit button. The circle button is your home button, which will always take you to the Braille Notes main menu. The square button is your recent apps button. Pressing this button will bring up the recent apps list, showing you a list of your currently opened applications. Holding down the square button a few seconds and certain apps will show you a menu of the most useful functions and keyboard shortcuts for that app. The context menu is just one more way to get immediate help using your Braille No Touch Plus. Okay, let's go to the right. Moving to the left edge of your Braille No Touch Plus, you will find furthest away from your USB-C port. This port is used to charge your Braille No Touch Plus as well as connecting to computers for transferring of files. In front of this port is a button with a slight indentation. This is a lock slash unlock button. Quickly tapping this button will either lock or unlock your braille note, and if your braille note is completely off, holding this button down will power it on. Okay. In front of the lock slash unlock button are the volume up and down buttons. Okay. Moving to the back edge of your Braille No Touch Plus, at the back left corner you will find the USB port. Next to it is your SD slot, and lastly you will find an HDMI port. Okay, I was right. The HDMI port is used to send the Braille Notes visual display to a separate television, monitor, or projector. On the right edge of Braille No Touch Plus are two ports that feel similar. The one furthest from you is the microphone jack. Next is a headphone jack, and the button with a raised dot on it is an action button. This action button has different functions depending on the app you are using. Next button. Okay, I will select the next button with the cursor routing key. The physical keyboard. God, I wonder how many more screens of this tutorial there are. <laughs> Um, but I'm just going through this for you guys so you can see what's here. Braille No Touch Plus includes an optional physical keyboard that can be used for writing and also for full keyboard navigation of apps. For it, pressing <laughs> Enter Activate, Braille No Touch Plus includes an optional physical keyboard that can be used for writing and also for full keyboard navigation of apps. For example, Backspace will move backwards and space will move forward by item or control similar to using the previous and next thumb keys. Pressing Enter activates an item similar to pressing one of the Braille touch cursor routing keys above the cells of the refreshable Braille display. Space with E will exit an operation or navigate back to the previous step. Space with H will provide contextual help for navigation or command instructions. Braille No Touch Plus also includes a powerful feature called first letter navigation. By simply pressing the first letter of any item or control, it is possible to quickly move directly to that item. Pressing N for example will move directly to the next button below. Next button. 
Okay, here's the next button. Braille preferences. Okay, now it looks like we have some options to set. So we're at Braille preferences. I'm going to use my right thumb key. Please select literary, contracted, or computer, uncontracted, Braille for both input and your Braille display below. To do this, navigate to the different drop-down lists and press enter to open the choices. Use your next and previous thumb keys to navigate among the choices and press enter when you find your preferred Braille mode. Preferred Braille grade for entry, literary Braille. Okay, that sounds good. Literary Braille for entry. Preferred Braille grade for display. Literary Braille. Literary Braille for display. Computer Braille table. English US Lib Louis. Computer Braille table. B English US. That looks right. Literary Braille table. English U Duxbury grade 1. Now this I do need to change. This is UEB grade 1. So I'm going to press enter as it advised me to do. Grade one. And it said pop up window and then brought me to English UEB Duxbury Grade 1. English US Duxbury Grade 2. English US Duxbury Grade 1. I'm using my next thumb key, the bottom here, to move through the options. English Australia Pre Unified Duxbury English Australia Francais Unified. Can we go back? To English, 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 English US Duxbury Grade 1. Without previous. English US Duxbury Grade 2. English Ub Duxbury Grade 1. English Ub Duxbury Grade 2. And I'm going to select English UEB Duxbury Grade 2. And I'll press enter. Accessibility Tutorial. Literary Braille Table. English Ub Duxbury Grade 2. And here it is. Next. Button. Okay, let's see what happens when we say next. Using the touch screen. Okay, we have a section about the touch screen here. Braille No Touch Plus provides the ability to interact with the device using only the touch screen that can be accessed by lifting the physical keyboard. Which I'll just do to show you that it works. As you can see, the screen has lit up. Sorry for the visuals, guys. It is also possible to write in Braille using only the touch screen using an innovative feature called Touch Braille. To use touch braille, simply place all 10 fingers directly on the touch screen just as you would when using the physical braille keyboard until you feel a short vibration which indicates that the braille no touch plus has recognized your fingers. Then, simply raise your fingers slightly above the touch screen and begin writing in braille. If you feel a long vibration, the finger recognition was not successful. Simply raise your 10 fingers and place them on the screen again. Note that touch braille accuracy can be improved if your wrists are down closer to the braille display and you simply flex your fingers up and down, rather than keeping your wrists up in the air. When braille no touch plus is started, touch braille is always active by default. Okay. So again, it gave us some information about touch braille. I'm going to go to the next. Next button. And here's the next button. Exploring by touch and gestures. Okay, it's going to be about exploring by touch, which is the other way to use the touch screen. Exploring the screen is also possible by simply using a single finger or by using some basic gestures on the touch screen. Pressing the previous and next thumb keys at the same time will switch between touch braille and explore modes. When in explore mode, simply move a single finger around the screen to locate various items and tap twice quickly with a single finger to activate the item. This is also known as a double tap. Okay. To perform a long press of an item, tap twice quickly and hold your finger on the screen. Swipe left or right with a single finger to navigate to the previous or next item. Press the previous and next thumb keys together again to enable touch braille at any time. Next button. Okay, so here at the next button, gave us a lot about the gestures. I will activate the next editing button. Basics. Okay, editing basics, let's see. At any point, you can use first letter navigation to quickly find an item in an app. Type the first letter of the item you are looking for, and braille and focus will jump directly to that item. 
If you want to type information into an edit box or form, you will first need to activate edit mode. Similar to forms or focus mode used by many screen readers, simply press enter or double tap on an edit box. You will hear a rising tone to signify that edit mode is active. You will also see the braille cursor appear between the edit box brackets on your braille display. Note that if you are exploring the screen and double tap on an edit box, touch braille will automatically be activated and you can immediately begin typing. Type your information into the edit box and, when finished, you can easily leave edit mode by pressing the exit command or button space with either the left arrow key on the front of your braille note. Even easier, you can simply navigate to the next or previous item using your next or previous thumb keys. Edit mode will be disabled automatically and you can use first letter navigation again. Note that if you had previously been using explore mode to double tap on an edit box, touch braille will be deactivated when you leave edit mode so you can continue exploring the screen with your finger. If you have multiple edit boxes to fill, often apps will allow you to press enter to jump directly to the next edit box in the form, keeping you efficiently editing. You can quickly check what the enter key will do in an edit box by using your contextual help command. Okay, tell us about editing, let's see what's next. You can practice editing, either with touch braille or by flipping down the physical keyboard in the edit box below. Find the edit box using your next thumb key and activate edit mode by pressing enter on it. Type in your name and navigate to the next button to move on to the next step. What is your name? Edit box. Okay, what is my name? I'll hit enter. What is your name? Edit box. End now, of field. Now you may have heard the little ditty, which told me I'm in edit mode. So I'll just put the phone down and I'll just type. J L L A J E R A B C. Oh, oh, wait a minute. That's what A, B, C, read the right. Next button. Gallagher 123,123. Edit box. <laughs> what is your name? I just put that in there because that's just an edit to test it. It's not official. So. Next button. Say next. Typing in computer braille. Okay, more tutorial typing computer braille. When typing in certain edit boxes, such as those which require an email address, password, web address, or phone number, you may receive the message that computer braille is required. This means that you can only type in those boxes using computer braille, and contractions will not be recognized. This is to ensure that the exact symbols you want to type are typed directly into the box without any braille translation occurring. You will also notice that when typing in computer braille the cursor changes from two dots to one to help show you when computer braille is being used. Next button. Okay, that's a lot of good detail there. A dot computer braille. A section on a dot computer braille. When typing in computer braille you will also notice that you can combine your backspace dot seven and enter dot eight keys to make different characters. This is because Braille No Touch Plus uses a dot computer Braille to enter certain symbols. One thing to remember when typing in computer Braille is that many characters require the enter or backspace keys to create those characters. This means that keyboard commands which require backspace or enter to perform an action need to have the spacebar added to them to be recognized as a command. So for example, Commands such as a delete to end of document command, which is done typically by pressing backspace with dots 4, 5, 6, will actually create some specific characters in certain languages when using computer braille. To perform the delete to end of line command, you need to add the space bar to backspace with dots 4, 5, 6. If you are trying to perform a command which requires enter or backspace, and it is creating a character you did not intend to create. First check if you are using computer braille. If so, try that command with the spacebar added. Next.
button. Next, okay. Let's practice typing in computer braille. Okay, more typing. Note that when typing in computer braille, some of the more common characters you may need to type can be written. USA.computer braille. At dot seven dash four. Underscore dots four dash five dash six. Dots four dash six. Pound sign dots three dash four dash five dash six. UK eight dot computer braille. Okay, there's eight. At dots two dash three dash four dash six dash seven. Underscore dots three dash four dash six. Dots two dash five dash six. Pound sign dots five dash six. The complete US and UK eight dot computer braille tables can be found in the appendix of the user guide. Good to know. To practice, activate edit mode by pressing enter or a cursor router key on the email address edit box below. You email address, edit box. I'm not gonna do this because we saw how that worked. Next. Button. Let's go to the next. The lock screen. Okay, I hear something about the lock screen. Every time your braille no touch plus restarts or goes into sleep mode, you will reach a lock screen where you will need to unlock your device. To do so, press the next thumb key until you reach the unlock button, then press enter or a cursor routing. Alternatively, you can simply press space with U to unlock more efficiently. Next, button, begin using Braille No Touch Plus. Here we go. Congratulations, you are now ready to begin using Braille No Touch Plus. Do not launch this tutorial next time I restart my Braille Note. Checkbox, checked. Okay, you may remember we checked that earlier. Next, button, disabled. Next, disabled, okay. Previous, button, exit tutorial, button. Okay, so we need to do exit tutorial. I will press cursor routing. Connect to Wi-Fi. Connect to Wi-Fi, progress bar. Oh. Notification, connect to open Wi-Fi network, Xfinity Wi-Fi. Okay, so now it wants us to connect to Wi-Fi. Let's use the thumb key to see. To get apps or copy data, connect to a network. Charlinet. Charlinet 5. Okay, that's the one I want. I'll press. Edit Ready? box. Charlinet 5. Computer Braille is required. And now I'm in the edit box. So I'll type my password and be right back. Okay, I'm just verifying that what I entered is correct. Show password. Check box. Not checked. Okay, so I hit my right thumb key. And we have the option to show the password, which is unchecked. I'm gonna go to the right. Drop down list advanced options. Advanced options. Double tap to expand. Go to the right. Cancel button. Connect button. Okay, there's connect. Let's press cursor routing. Connect to Wi-Fi. Connecting. Connecting. Notification. Wi-Fi has no internet access. Tap for options. Hmm. Something wrong with our internet here. Alert. Couldn't connect to the internet. Okay. Couldn't connect. Okay. Button. Okay, let's try our other. Connect to Wi Fi. Charlene at 5. Connected. No internet. Charlene at. Let's try this one. Edit box. Charlene at. Okay, I'm gonna put in this password. Computer braille is required. I was trying to use our 5 gigahertz, but... I don't know, maybe our 5 gigahertz is down, because I remember... Hmm, I'm trying to remember if I had some strange issues yesterday. Alright, let's put this... Okay, again, I'm gonna go to the right. Show password. Drop down the cancel. Connect. Button. And connect, connect to Wi-Fi. Charlene net. Not in range. Checking for updates. Oops. Checking for updates. That must have worked. Now it says checking for updates. Checking for updates. Checking Android setup. Copy apps and data. Okay, so now I'm moving into more setup. 
So it says copy apps and data. I'm going to go to the right. Transfer apps, photos, music, and more. Choose what to copy later. Copy your data from an Android or iPhone registered trademark device or the cloud. Set up as new. Get a fresh start. Okay, I'm going to press the cursor routing on setup as new. Just a second. Just a set account setup. Okay. Checking info. Sign in with your sign in. Sign in with your Google account. Okay, now it's Learn more. For Google. Web view. Sign in. Head with your Google account. Learn more. Now, this Button. is new web view support. Let's see if I press E. Edit box. Email or phone. Indeed. Here we go. Email or phone. I will press enter. Edit box. Computer braille is required. And we can now put in our email address for our Google account. I'll do that and be right back. Okay, I put it in. I'm going to see what happens if I enter. I call it edit box. Computer braille is required. Okay, so now we're in the edit box for the password. I will type this and again, I'll be back. Okay, now I'm going to press my right thumb key. Show password. Next. And here, here's next. Press again. Edit box. High colon. Web view. Okay. Let's see. Hi, Cullen. Cullen dot Gallagher at G. We publish the Google Terms of Service so okay, that you know what service. to expect as you we publish the Google Terms so that you know what to expect. You are also agreeing to the Google Play Term to I enable this. And remember, privacy Paul describes I agree. Button. I'll hit I agree. Checking info. Check getting account info. Getting account info. Just a second. Just a second. Protect your tablet. Protect your tablet. Okay, protect your tablet. Let's see. Prevent others from using this tablet without your permission by activating device protection features. Okay. Choose the screen lock you want to use. Pattern. Because you've turned on an accessibility service, your device won't use your screen lock to enhance data encryption. Pin. Because you've turned on an accessibility service, your device won't use your screen lock to enhance data encryption. I don't know what this means. But... Password. Because you've turned not now. I'm just going to say not now because I don't want to put a pin on this yet. Alert. Skip screen lock. Dev skip screen lock. Device protection features won't be turned on. That's okay. You won't be able to prevent others from using this tablet if it's lost, stolen, or reset. Go back. Button. Skip anyway. Button. I'm going to say skip anyway and press the cursor routing. Portrait. Google. Okay. Google. What's it doing? Setup wizard. Web view. Your Google Assistant is built into your new phone. New phone. That's funny. Okay, so now we're at something about Google Assistant. Let's just keep going and see. After your phone is set up. Try these popular things to ask your assistant. How's the traffic? Send a message. Tell me a joke. Continue. Button. Continue. Hit a Landscape. Run. Google services. Google Cullen services. Dot Gallagher at Gmail dot backup and storage. Backup to Google Drive. Easily restore your data or switch phones at any time. Your bit switch on for backup to Google Drive. And location. Help apps find locate switch on for help apps find locate improve location accuracy. Allow apps and services to scan for Wi Fi and Bluetooth signals even when these settings are off. Switch on for in device maintenance. Send usage and diagnostic data. Help improve your Android experience by automatically sending diagnostic device. And app usage data to Google. Okay, this please. switch on for install updates and apps. By continuing, you agree that this device may also automatically download and install updates and apps from Google, your carrier, and your device's manufacturer, possibly using cellular data. Some of these apps may offer in app purchases. Tap Accept to confirm your selection of these Google services settings. Accept button. I'll say accept. Anything else? 
Anything else? Yeah, add another email account. Okay, looks like we're almost done. No thanks. Button. Say no thanks. Adding finishing touches. Accelerated location. Accelerated location. What's this? Accelerated location. Location can send. Check to improve location performance and battery saving. Is it sends location data to Qualcomm Technologies? Incorporated in the US is it also stores some data on your device and may operate even when no apps are running. Terms and privacy policy. Dot. Okay, I'll just... Back. Next. Button. Say next. Device unlocked. Allow, allow key updater to access photos, media, and files on your device. Notification, Google location history, turned on for this account. Deny, but allow. Allow, button. okay. Main menu, contacts, key list. Well. Wow. Notification, email, 11 new messages, 11 new messages. Notification, email, blind bargains daily buzz. BlindBargains.com daily deals. There we go. Let's quickly just take a run through the main menu and then I'm going to go explore this and I'll do some more videos on it at a later time. Let's go to the top. Top. Contacts. Key list. So this is going to seem familiar. We have contacts. Email. Key mail. Key mail for email. Internet. Chrome. I'm now using my um, space with dot four command. Internet, we now have Chrome instead of KeyWeb. So we are now using- Inter Internet, Ooh, Chrome. What's, okay. So we have a much better browsing experience, or we should. I'll do a demo of that maybe. Word processor, keyword. There's our good old keyword. Play store. Play store. Planner, key plan. Planner. File manager. Key files. File manager. Calculator. Key calc. Key calc. Easy Reader Plus. Easy Reader Plus is the new reading application, replacing the Victor Reader app. KNFB Reader. Again, you get your free KNFB Reader on here. Braille Terminal. Braille Notification. Terminal. 12 updates available. Maps. Navigate and explore. Google Duo. High quality. All applications. Braille Terminal. All applications. Bottom. And that is everything as of now. Notification. Progress. Play support libraries. Installing. Top. Contacts. Key list. Okay, so that is the unboxing. Let me lock it. Thursday. Thursday. August 29th. Ooh, did that sound back? Okay, so I've locked it with the power button. And that is... The unboxing and setup of my upgraded Braille Note Touch Plus. I hope you've enjoyed this. I know I'm very excited to be able to bring this video to you because it's something different that we've never done. It's the first time unboxing an assistive technology device, and you got to come along with me on the setup. I will be doing some more videos to really show what this does, but for now, that's it. I mean, some of that might be re we might relook at, like the main menu and unlocking. So stay tuned. More Braille Note Touch Plus videos on the way and a lot of other content on the way. So hope you've enjoyed this and I will see you in the next video. We hope you have enjoyed this video. If so, please subscribe for more and feel free to comment. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at Gallagher123123. Thank you for watching, and we will see you soon.